Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another video brought to you by TotalCards.net It is time for the Hidden Fades Elite Trainer Box opening We have 10 of these bad boys and we're hoping to get the Charizard, of course A quick look on the, on the back there We've officially moved, it took a little longer than anticipated but we're now a new setup, we're kind of halfway there so I'm apologising in advance if the sound does sound a little off but we, we're working on it But without no further ado, we have 10 boxes of Elite Trainer boxes to go through. All 10 packs from each Elite Trainer. We'll get through. If we can open it up. Again, it's so tough. Here we go. So, we're into our first box. Fingers crossed. So, we'll take a quick look inside at the contents and then going forward with the next ones, we won't bother too much. So, outer sleeve itself. I think we've got one already got open. Give you guys a quick look inside. So that's one there. Looks rather cool. Again, a gorgeous little Charizard. So put that to one side. So there's our outer sleeve. The booklet itself, it's got like a card set. Keep tabs on your collection. So that's pretty cool. And then the actual storage box itself. This time it has a really nice pattern on it there. Textured, looks really cool. And then the contents of the box. So we have code card, the online TCG, the actual bird trio, which looks so cool in English. But yeah, that's the card itself. Looks absolutely gorgeous. So we have that. We have our 10 boosters. GX marker, playing the game, done with the poison and burned. The four card dividers, which I'm very sure you'll have already seen. If you're not, and then again, some awesome looking sleeves with the three guys on. Energy pack, and then the dice. This time we get orange and blue. And if I can find, there we go. Actual set logo itself looks pretty cool. So, dead shove looks absolutely cool. What we'll do, I think we'll open all 10 possibly and then we'll come back to just the booster pack. So, yeah, we'll do that first. We'll break all these open and we'll come back when we've opened them all up. So we'll start with our first 10 packs. We're we'll kicking it off with Elite Trader Box number one. And we have a white card. Uh, no, we'll not bother with it with the quotes. It's going to get absolutely crazy. So we have Giovanni's Exile, Kogus Trap, Lieutenant Search Strategy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coffin, Ekans. And a golem, where is it? The rare. And this, oh, it's my shining Pikachu, Echoes, Lapras. We have a Raichu GX. We'll do a sleeve. All these up, keep them booster fresh. There's a close look at that one if you want to see it. It's absolutely awesome, the right too. And you can grab the, uh, the similar one in the uh, tins. 
They're available right now. So we have in this pack, just skipping through, we've got Farfetch'd and Mew. In this one we have Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, and a shiny Voltorb with an Arbok. Awesome. And again, we have a lot of singles already on the website. So if you want to add to your collection or grab any of the ones you see pulled in this video, they're all on the website, totalcards.net. Moving on to the next pack. What we'll do. We'll just skip, we'll do the old school way, just get skip straight through it. Whoa. Misty's Water Command and a Stack Attack of GX. That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I prefer it that way. We've got like uh, 100 boosts to get through. That's going to be insane. Let's leave that one up as well. To hollow Misty's Water Command. Again, another cool looking card. I try not to drag the videos out so they go on for longer than what they should. But with booster openings like this, it's so hard to just kind of whiz through. You want to see every single card and because the set is still relatively new, so we uh oh we're hoping for the Charizard as well. That's the one card we want, that Charizard for sure. So might be able to do something with the pulls from each trainer box to kind of keep them all in groups possibly. Next like one we have Charmeleon and Electro. We have Woohoo! The Rainbow Ray of the Trio and a shiny Fugadier, nice. So if you haven't seen that one already, that's the trio of the bird three. I'm not quite sure how much you can hear off the warehouse. Behind me, we've got like the studio is kind of closer to the warehouse than it was uh, previously. So if we do hear any background noise, just the uh, the guys hard at work getting your orders packed and dispatched. On the last pack from the first Elite Trainer, and so far that's pretty cool from 10 packs. Uh, definitely can't complain there. And we've got a Kangaskhan and a Blaine's last stand in that last one. So move those to one side onto our next bundle of 10. We have Rainbow Lightning Energy. Is it running that pack? Or the foil? This next pack we have Farfetched and Jolteon. So nothing so far. We have Woohoo! Shiny Magneton and Brock's Training. That one looks pretty cool. Love the hollow effect on that one. So we'll sleeve them up. For anyone that uh, is a little disappointed that we don't have any elite trainers left on the website, we sold out completely. And these ones that we're opening here are for what we, we need for our single cards. And they're kept separate from the more we order the, uh, the stock with our suppliers, we take them off the website and we don't uh, we don't get them mixed up. So these are already kind of reserved well before yeah, they go out of stock. But if you do want to get grab a link from Hidden Fates, it's more than advice to pre-order nice and early. Just with regards to the set selling out so fast with Charmeleon and another Charizard in this one. And the same applies to the the, uh, the Ultra Powers and yeah, Ultra Premium box. More question: What do we call it? The it's a Premium Powers. Ultra version. And again, that will be out of stock very shortly. So it's always recommended to jump in nice and early. The Sarlax. And this year, that one. Have uh, Arbok and Fairy Energy. I'll leave too much in this box. It's only been then so far from these 10 packs. Whoa, Pinsir and Ninetales. There we go. Add to it. I was getting a little short in pulls on that one. I think we did put on a pull of Misty as well, which I didn't add to this one. 
but still more than fine. Uh, weeding and normal weasel. So again, not a great deal out of our box. So that one's a leak trailer box number two. Onto the third one. What will we get out of the third box? Jinx and Coffable, nothing in that pack. So on to the next booster we have. Carpy and Golem again, nothing, so that's pack number two. Into the third booster we have Vaporeon Hollow, if that counts. I'm not sure what the pull ratios are on the Elite Traders, I've not actually gone through them and I've to look. But I think we may have something in this one. We do, it's a Riolu Shiny, along with a normal Mew. Looks pretty nice. Definitely loving the, the uh, Shiny cards in this set. Look absolutely awesome. We're hoping to get more in stock. Um, as you can imagine, whoa, Umbreon GX and Pinsir again. We uh, have a lot of demand for this box and we've been allocated heavily. So we ordered close to a thousand for this and we unfortunately didn't get anywhere near that. So for any of the customers that we did have to inform that we were having to refund, we do apologize again in advance. But for most of the uh, allocation, we just managed um, it wasn't as severe as we'd hoped it was, it was going to be, but um, we did do okay. But the Naughty Strong Pokemon did come in last minute as well, which was um, rather disappointing because normally the window for informing retailers that there's going to be a delay or a, um, an allocation happens way sooner. And to the next pack we have Mrs. What Command again. I'll pop that one down there because it is. Technically our hollow. We've got two packs left. So our first one so far has been the best fully trainer. We still haven't pulled that Charizard yet. Where is he? We have a subtle Wudu shiny. And that's the last part. It is... Oh, it's the trio. There we go. Not too bad. So there's that one. Looks pretty cool. Again, doesn't mean the rainbow rare, but still rather awesome. So that one goes on there. And then the, the cool looking Saruudu smiling away. So that is that for box number four, uh, three. And to box four, we start with Brock's training is our follow for that one. Put these, might get away with just there, putting another row in here for, for box four. And then five off the work on this side. We have Lapras and Electro. Oh, this time we've got Shiny Matang and the Charizard in that uh, booster. Not bad at all, so it's Charizard in nearly every Elite Trainer. So that's that. Move it on. I'm not doing too bad. And we have, oh, Drumper GX. Very cool. I don't think we pulled that one in our last uh, pink collection opening. So I think that's the first one we've pulled of that guy. Looks rather cool. Moving on. We have Farfetch'd and a Lapras. In this next pack, we have Jigglypuff and a Hollow Zapdos. We'll put them down there. Next pack, we have uh, Blaine's Last Stand and a Butterfree again. Nothing uh, major from this box just yet. We've got the drum pair, Metallic. Oh, nice. Magnemite and Jesse and James. Look at them sleeved right up. 
Not looking too bad. Ooh. Let's get some sleeves out. I'll do. I'll pop that on there for now. Oh, I think. There you go. So we've got two packs left from this side. What have we got? We have Charmeleon and oh, it's a Blaze Last Stand again. Not another good pack, but one down. Last booster pack we have Evie and Erica's hospitality. Oh, well, not too bad. So, moving on to our next bundle of 10. So, what we'll do is we'll start on this side, we'll work this way over for. Our next one, Quagsire, is our shiny. Looks cool. What we'll do is we'll put these color cards that we opened previously just to one side. There we go. So, slide him up. We'll put these just there. We'll just put them just on the outside. There we go. So, next part. We have. Oh wow, a Binet GX. It's really cool. And the rare was a Zapdos Holo. It's not too bad from that one part. Again, let's leave these guys right up. Well, that's a good start for box number five. Moving on, we have Star you and Mr. Mine. I'm quite impressed so far. We uh, are doing pretty good. We'll star you, uh, star me from that one. Slay that. This one we have Pikachu and a Mew. In this pack, oh, another rainbow and a froggy. Nice. It's crazy, like some packs you don't get either, and then in some boosts you get like double hits, which is crazy. So put the froggy there, and then the rainbow. We'll pop that one just there. There we go. This next one we have Foil Energy, Darkness. Next one we have Charmander, Erica's Hospitality with a Jesse and James. Still looking for that Charizard, we have to pull it. Have a Chansey and a Weezing. Keep going to put it that side. Have Arbok and a Rubik. Oh no, sorry, a Rubik and Vulpix. Nearly missed it. Looks cute. So, pop that one there. Let's leave that off. So, that was really good from one box. Like, that was good. Moving on to box number six. Then we'll pop the sleeves just like sorry. Move them just to there. There we go. So we start with another foil energy and a Porygon holo. We have Brock's Pewter City Gym and Erica's Hospitality. And Mr. Mime and a Clefable.
In this pack we have, wow, Golly Spot GX. Looks rather awesome and a wheezy. Sliding away there. Up Steve. There we go. So far, so good. We have Eevee Hollow and Foil Fairy Energy. In this one. Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Beauty City Gym, and another Mew. Also, I think we have Clefairy and a Mewtwo GX. That's one rather cool. So, again, all these cards are Booster Fresh, go straight into sleeves. And they're all on the website, you see there, Total Cards from there. We have in this park. Something. Oh, we've got another Beldum. Wow, pretty cool. That's not too bad from this box. We've got two packs left. And we have coughing and an Arbok. There's almost a recurring pattern in the distribution. Some very similar pulls an Arbok and a Mr. Mine. On to our next 10. And almost very similar, you got like the one full art, um, a Charizard, U2, or a Raichu. Like, our first box was absolutely crazy. The amount of things we got from that was insane. Uh, we've got Wooper and Erika's Hospitality in this next one. And grab a sleeve. So here's the next one. Have three boxes left. Oh, we have another Lola Ninetales and a Jesse and James. Wow. Two great hits there in that one box. A yeah, one box, sorry. So there's them two. Top that on there. Oh wow, looking pretty good. So moving on. Still want that Charizard. Where are you? Bill's Analysis and a Butterfree. We have Paris, Darkness Energy and Blaine's Last Stand. Oh, this time we have Staryu and another Alolan. Oh, sorry, your normal Raichu. Needs an Alolan Raichu there. There. there we go. We have Bill's Analysis and oh, just a little of Olpix. Nice. If I'm a little rusty, I do apologise. Um, my excuse is I've had surgery recently, so I'm not feeling my best right now, but <laughs> we had to get this opened. Um, who wouldn't say no to 10 litre in a box? So, I do sound a little rusty, a little off. Um, it's because I'm in, in recovery and uh, I've been advised to rest, and this is resting. <laughs> this is as cool as things get. So, yeah, if I do sound a little off or making a few mistakes, um, it's because of that. So, hopefully, I'll be back on my feet in no time. So, that one got Mrs. Walker uh, command. Flavor up. It's been a really good box. I think we broke through the buying with that one. Definitely just the all the nine tail steals it there, but to get the Alolan Vulpix and the Alolan nine tail in one late trainer box was cool. We still do have two packs left, and we have Mr. Mime again. He always seems to be the stopper when we get a dud pack. Popping Mr. Mime in. And the last booster pack from this box was an Onyx. Oh, what a shiny Charmander. Wow. Again, if you've not seen this guy, he looks absolutely cute. It's so cool. So, pop them on there. So, that was one heck of a box. It's almost a pull in every single pack. 
We are, however, running out of space very quickly. <laughs> so we'll put these just there. So this is box number, what have we been, eight. So you start box number eight with an inkie and a butter free. So yeah, not bad at all. First shiny pack. Let's move these up slightly. Mm -hmm. Grab a sleeve for inkie. So we can do that again on this bottom one, but that will be it. We'll have to kind of make use of the space in the middle, which is fine. So we have Clefairy and a Jolteon in the second pack. We have Brock's Great and a Vaporeon Hollow. You can pop that down there. Can't make up what the clock says, but yeah, we're not doing too bad. So we're welcome nearly 10 league trainers. Let's have a look. What have we got in this one? Something shining. Why? It's the full out of the trail. <laughs> Falling off there. And we got a rock rough as well. What we'll do, let these guys sleep up. There we go. <laughs> that look at the card this time. Looks really cool. So again, you gotta love that one. Uh, pop that there. So I guess the uh, only uh, rainbow brand in the set with the the trio, which is very unique. And again, the rock rough. Looks really cute. There we go. Back to normal. So in this pack we have Altaria GX. Erica's Hospitality. Not bad. There's two. Full arts now. That's the Altaria one. Looks so cool. Right, so moving on. We still have another four packs from this elite trainer. Funny enough. Uh, which means more chances for pulls. Snorlax and Scythe in that one. We have Foil and a Zapdos Hollow. Again, I'm going to get that one down, it's still a Hollow. And so it's technically the Energy Foils, but not really Pokemon, so it doesn't really count. Uh, Kogos Trap and Bill's Analysis. Now, our last pack from box number eight is an Onyx and another Lola Bulpix. Well, that was, was still really good. Still a really good box. I'll we'll save your next up as well. So again, all these singles that you do see us pull all go onto the website, and that is totalcards.net. Right, moving on to box number nine. Put the cards, powers there. My 12 first booster, and we start with, wow! How awesome is that? That Reshiram is absolutely beautiful. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon as well, which is ultra crazy. Have to love him. So cool. Right, where do we put him? We'll put him in the middle. There we go. We need that Charizard though, we need it. We've got Missy's Determination and a Mew. We've got space for two more there, and we have to kind of start overlapping some cards, which will be fine. We've got Geo doing the foil energy in that one. Again, I don't recall we didn't pull the Reshiram in the uh, pin collection opening, so like this pack is not opening whatsoever. I was going to try and get it on camera to show you, but like it is well and truly glued and sealed, and that can't could not get that open. Like the glue in that corner was unreal. So we have oh, oh pincer and a gibble. Very nice. Pop those two there. Right, and then sleeve them two up. Pop the pincer next to the pincer. There we go. 
Here we have Mew and Blaine's Last Stand with a rare map pair. Some awesome looking cards from this set. Has to be known, uh, Slowpoke, Snarlax, and Bill's Analysis again. We have Weezing and Misty's War Command. We are now running out of space, so yeah. Just have to bear with me on that one. Moving on, we have, whoa, we've got one of the gold cards. How awesome does that look? We have a Tapu Finny. Oh my word, that is stunning. That is absolutely gorgeous. That looks so cool. Have to love it. Moving on to our next pack. We have two left. Get in and see what we have. We have something again. Naganado and the Charizard. Wow! Moving on. That is so cool. So we'll sleeve those two guys right up. We've got to make some space on here. Right. So, yeah. So I should do it. Put the. I don't think we sleeve the Magnemite up. Let's get him sleeved. There we go. So onto the last pack from box number nine. Right, we have Ah, it's a Kangaskhan. Not to worry. We have a foil electric energy. Lightning, should I say. Right, well, box number 10 is the last one. Here we go. We start with a Zapdos and a Fire Foil Energy. Moving on to the next one, we have Brock Squid and Clefable. Really amazing in that pack. And the next one we have Magikarp. Oh, Magnemite and Full Art of the Trio. Pretty good. So, oh, I didn't sleeve the uh, Fallout one up. We're nearly halfway through this one box and we're doing pretty good. And we're adding to it with, whoa, how awesome is that? My word, beautiful card. Shiny new 2GX, wow. That is absolutely gorgeous, right, well. Full burst and super absorption, that is absolutely crazy. My word. Oh, drop the pack. Try and get away from us, what was it? It was just foil energy, that's all it was. Oh well. I'm so pleased we got the tap of Finny in the new too. There's some really good pulls there. And the Reshiram. Right, we have Cocos Trap and Eevee Hollow. Within that pack, we have four boosters left. What will we pull? A Scyther and a Golem. We have another upload coming up very shortly, which is 12, 14 uh, pink collections. Oh, God, those wall. Shiny Buzzwall and a Gyarados GX. First time I've seen that guy, which uh, makes a change. And uh, with 14 pin collections to open, so it's going to be extremely fun to do, um, especially seeing how popular the set's been. Uh, we and Mr. Mime in our very last pack for the set. It is something good Coffin, Slowpoke, and just an Arwok. Oh well, not too bad. Thanks again for watching guys, I'm glad you've uh, joined us on this awesome opening of 10 Elite Trainer Boxes. I would advise you head onto the website and pick one up, and unfortunately they are sold out ridiculously quickly. And we are hoping to get more back in, as always, to keep you guys stocked up with Hidden Faith, because it's one awesome set which is not to be missed out on. I do apologise for you guys have missed out, 
But if you haven't heard of us already, we're TotalCards.net. And this is an unboxing of 10 Elite Trainer Boxes. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.